up for sale GT40 replica I'm gonna walk around it tell you about the car fire it up and then drive it if you do enjoy the video please leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this thank you like I said GT40 replica finished in Gulfstream blue you know those factory GT40 race colors that people go crazy for um, it's specifically the fiber fab Avenger GT12 by 1970 so let me tell you about this I got a ton of ownership history on the car the owner who built it in 1970 is the only owner of the car being a one owner uh, I got a big scrapbook full of p old pictures of the car pictures that shows with the car like with the guard around so people can't touch it um, I got the original bill of sale which is on my phone he paid $2,100 for it in 1970 so think about it $2,100 you build it you paint it, you put the chassis on it, you put the drivetrain in it, dial it in, all the electrical and whatnot. That's a pretty expensive car to have in 1970. Um, and again, to own it his entire life, obviously this car meant a lot to him. Um, I'm going to get through it here. So it's wrapped in Gulfstream blue with those factory race colors that people go crazy for, like I said. Um, trying to think if there's... I got a. I, he has. A, I have a. Excuse me. I have a picture of his show plaque that has a couple of details on there. It's a. It's a modified '66 Volkswagen chassis. That chassis is in excellent condition. No rust. No surface rust. Beautiful. Beautiful underneath. Um, it's got different front suspension on it. I believe it. It. it it's fancy. It doesn't look like something you find on a Volkswagen. Um, let me see here. The Crown Competition clutch. 780 CFM Holly carb. And I know I didn't get to it yet. It's a 65 Corvair motor with a turbo intake on there. That puts out 240 horsepower. Um, and a Leco three-quarter race cam on it. And then I'll have a picture of that on the ad as well, in case you wanted to look at it for yourself. One owner. I mean, I, that's really cool. Um, it's got American Racing wheels on there with the little orange wrap. Matches the like the Gulfstream colors with the orange stripe. That looks really cool on the car. Um, it has headers, I know, in the back. Two exhaust that comes right out. Sounds really good. And the 240 horsepower. It doesn't sound like a lot, but it moves this car. Um, and I'm not really pointing out any flaws here because being a wrap, there are none. And a little bit later in the video, I'm going to pan to a video of me going through the paperwork that I have just so you can see a little bit of the ownership history. Got a better idea because I'm going to have pictures on the ad, but I'd like to show you all that you get. Um. Okay, we switched to the uh, paperwork part of the video now. Here's the original uh, show plaque, I guess, with the little upgrades on it, whatnot, built by Gary Went. A um, couple other things I got for it. The original plate, or unoriginal plate, Gary, again. Fiber, fag ta fiber fab tag, a couple of GT logos here. Um, I don't know who that is. It's just all the stuff that I got on the car right here. A little bit of wiring. This must be more work-related. quickly go through this. I don't want to waste too much time on that. Um, parts. Yeah, definitely more wiring again. Pre-assembled body kit. Stuff on the fiber fab itself. Mount View Auto Sales. That's the place that he bought it from. I know that. There, there's a bill. when they first got it delivered. A few receipts, that one's dated 1970. Another one dated 1970. Another picture. See, that's the interior on there. Again, why I'm saying definitely low miles. I mean, look how that looks just, <laughs> the car looks just like that now. Um, there's an envelope. Not gonna read it, maybe it's private. A couple more things here, okay, we'll skip that. 
I did the same thing with a Dodge that I had. Here's a scrapbook for it. That's what I mentioned here. Okay, a little bit about it. Maybe he's getting the idea here, what, what he's looking for on the car. You know, did it yourself, GT car. Okay, bear with me. Okay, a couple more things there with a little bit of his handwriting here. Purchasing agent. This is Mount View Auto Sales again, same place as before. Who sold it? Here's a letter from Fiberfab, the company, to him. Um, Gary went. Telecom of 1969. So again, like I said, 70. This is probably going into the year, planning on buying it. Please reply. Another letter from Fiberfab. Maybe he's looking for a color, which he did choose red. Here's the bill of sale. Signed by Gary Went. All that other stuff. Here's a bunch of pictures. I'm going to try and organize this more as we go. There's what I was talking about with the show pictures. That's a kick car. That, that's like a Hot Wheel. Um, box. In the box. Painted above the box. At the show. With the plaque right there. And. Uh, yeah. I'm wasting a lot of time on this. I see the clock ticking. We're at three minutes of paperwork here. I don't want to do this way too long. Um, there's the motor, exactly how it is now. It's the same thing that's on the plaque. I'll leave that in here. Another note. Corvair adapter kit from Mount View, same place. More, more. See this where some of those pictures have fallen out of. Um, little hand sketch there more pictures of it working with the family in front of the family garden <laughs> and these are all empty and here's a couple more from that day they unboxed it so there you have it that's all the paperwork that you got for the car uh now back to the walk around video Super nice interior here. Um, carpet's excellent. There's, thank you. I know, I know. I had somebody else tell me that. Uh, excellent seats. Really don't look like they've been sat in. Uh, you got a little bit of, like a, excuse me, I grabbed the wrong one. Racing seat belt on there. There's the emergency brake. There's the four speed shifter right there. I panned out because there's a lot, not a lot of room here to get in and show you. Um, wood grain steering wheel on it. That light works. All the gauges are there. Being a four speed, you got the clutch down there. Um, now it shows 4,564 miles. We'll see if the odometer rolls. That could be the miles on the car since it was built. Um, because obviously it's not a hundred and four thousand, then no way. Excuse me. Top of the car is excellent as well. Nice glass. There's no cracks in the glass, nor on the back glass. This fuel tank looks like it might have been added after the fact. I'd have to go through the pictures and see. Um, it's running off of this right now but it has a secondary in the front. Secondary in the front. Um, this car is super cool. Okay, got the key. You can see the dual exhaust down there and uh, dual rear lights. Kind of a cool little vintage air cleaner getting that fresh air that comes over the top of the car for the uh, four barrel. We'll pop it open. I'll show you the engine real quick. There you go. A lot of billet stuff in here and uh, kind of fancy. You can see the intake right there for the turbo going into the four barrel. Um, yeah, and then I think the header is right down there. So, pop that back up. 
I'll have a better picture of that on the end to get the whole idea. Um, definitely has never been advertised before, being a one owner. She's really cool. International Show Car Association. Probably adds to why it looks as good as it does. Will be up for sale later today on my website nextgenclassiccars.com and eBay. Both links will be in the description of this video. If you have any interest, go on check it out. And um, I'll do a little bit more look and find out if that is 4,500 miles. Because I'm going to show you the test drive now. So I, I, I assume if it's half half over, it'll roll. I'm sorry. So thanks for watching. Like I said, GT40 replica, Avenger GT12, one owner. And uh, we will fire it up now and take her for a spin. Thank you. All right.